Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Stu and this is part six of my Tenacious Tenements playthrough. Build 10 coasters, each with an excitement value of over six. You can download the scenario via the link in the video description. Part one, we built the spinning wild mouse. Part two, we built the vertical drop. Part three, we built the twister. Part four, the wooden coaster. Part five, the suspended coaster. So now it's time for part six. Let's clear off the scrub. So all these coasters, as you may have already guessed, are going to be built on 10 by 10 squares. If you want to play along, you can do it however you wish. But the general idea I had when I built the scenario was for people to use it as a sandbox for building 10 by 10 coasters. Okay, so we're going to go for a giga coaster trying to work out which is the best angle to have it i'm thinking um before we do that let's it's got a no entry sign on that exit path just down there um i think that'll look pretty cool okay so Let's do it so that. All right, we'll get the station this side. We'll do it that way. And then we'll point these there. Entrance there. I've got a basic idea, so I'm trying to work out now where. The exit will go, I think they're better. Um, I've got a, yeah, I've got a basic idea for the coasters, but sometimes it's not quite that easy. Um, I think, as I mentioned in the previous video, building the 10 tens can be a bit like a puzzle, trying to work your way back. Um, Obviously, the more complicated the design, the harder it is to work your way back. Just working out if the if the path will be long enough for the queue. There you go. So each path tile can hold four guests. So by adding, even if it was only an extra two tiles, I've added capacity for an extra two guests. So um, we're going to go for booster track. We'll drop it down. 54 is probably too fast, but we can always lower it if need be. So we're going to go up. Um, about no so i was working out the exit because i want to get the 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 track to come along um above where that uh, straight exit path is There you go, that should be fine. Flat piece there, maybe I can use that to put um, a, a new, uh, photo section later. Probably won't need a break. Not with this track type.
the easiest thing to do would be to just bring it back but that would be a bit boring so can we can we add some more twists and turns and things i don't like that that's going to be probably a bit too forceful um We'll come back one more. Nope. That's better. Right, now I need to start trying to work my way back. Okay, let's give that a go. That's way too fast into the final bend. So we'll have to add a, we'll have to add some breaks. Yeah, it was going more than fast enough um, at the beginning. So we can probably drop this down. Let's try that. still going too fast that's fine um this section whoop what am i doing what am i doing this section here is probably where it needs to slow down the most um so we can have a photo section there and then couple of breaks there and then right at the end let's have a look That's okay. At least we've got it bending in more than one direction. That's one of the issues that you do get with these 10 by 10 sometimes is you do have the sort of the NASCAR effect where they always turn the same direction. At least it does turn back away from itself. Let's have a look. 6.8. Not bad. Oh. 
Okay, now we can give it some decorations. Um, what sort of what sort of theme can we give this one? Um, So I've got an idea for a name. I'm just, I'd like to do jungle theme, but I don't think the name wouldn't really fit. That's what it really matters, does it? Yeah, it kind of does. Um, change my mind. Um, okay, so we'll go. that and then a very easy way of boosting hang on let's get rid of that bit of path there and that bit of path there Can we bring this exit path out a little bit further? Because if we can, what have I done here? Sure, it's all connected. There you go. So then we can raise this up. Cool. One easy way of boosting excitement quite a lot is put these base tiles underneath Get some fences in. And then, where's the lattice? We haven't used that. Let's add a little bit more detail to the walls. Make them look a little less boring. Um, so that one there. Okay. 
Okay, so Yeah, that look a bit like that. Yeah. These ones are better. Do we use these quite a lot though? Um we could go glass again. Match the height. And then what can we have to break it up a little? Whilst we're fussing about with this, we could be making a lot of money, couldn't we? So let's get it open. Let's give it a so mechanic. Uh, it's own dedicated handyman. Uh, space chairs. And so back to the roof then. I was looking for something to try and break up before I do the the roof tiles. That could work. Match the height. I've got one. The wrong one. Get rid of that. Now, where's the glass? Let's try the other way around. How does that look? That's not what I wanted to do, is it? Unless there's a... It might not let me because there might be a... A track piece in the way. Hmm. 
Mm, I think it would look better if the colors were reversed. Those ones don't, but the other ones would. Do these sides first, and then I can look at guests that are complaining. So let's change it back round, and then we'll do these bits. Hmm. I'm not sure, but we'll go with it. Um, okay, what are, what are we going to do for the walls? This section here. We can make more of a feature about this, although there is a There is an on right photo there, so we are going to have to alter the height slightly. So if I do that, and then that one in the middle. This thing makes it a little bit more interesting than just having it all the same height. Now, what am I going to do with the floor? I don't want to just leave it as the grey blocks. Um... So this bit we can have 
like a checkerboard. You'll only be able to see a little bit of it. And then the outside section. Um, maybe just boring grass there isn't a huge amount of textures to go for so Okay, is there anything we can do to make it look cooler? We could add some of these little weird blocks around the place, couldn't we? I don't know. Maybe something. Uh, it gets rid of the it gets rid of the support and i don't really want to have to build additional ones so i won't, I won't do that unless No, we'll leave that as it is. Um, still a bit undecided on the roof. Don't like that. round Cool. And it needs it needs some sort of accent piece. I'm not even sure what that means, but like a bit that stands out.
cool. I don't know about that piece, but oh, I'll leave it. It needs a sign. What happened there? I was looking for a sign and it gave me cannonballs. Wrong way around. Name it first. Okay. So, as everyone knows, Giga Coasters are the sexiest coasters. So we're going to call it Six Appeal. And this one, we don't need to put a number in for that one. We know that. It'll bug me if I don't. So we'll do it anyway. And now when I do the sign for this one, it'll already have the name. Cool. It does need something. No, it does need one more. Let it go there. That one's red, and then this one at the back. That one can be blue as well. Cool. And maybe. I know I said that was it, but cool. Happy with that. Awesome. Part six done. Six coaster. Oh, Excitement's got a bit of a boost. Let's just toggle that. It's not going to do anything to the actual coaster because there's no chain left on there. But it will put it into a retest. Which means, whilst we're doing this, actually, let's have a look. Let's make sure that everyone's still paying £10 a go to ride all the others. Yes, they are. This one's closed, broken down. Is there a... Where's the handyman? Where's the mechanic? There he is. Okay, has it retested? Not quite. It's just coming back now. Whilst that's going on, let's add in kiosk, ATM, toilets. That's the fourth toilet. Change these umbrellas to purple to match that. Come over this side.
do the same there, change them to match the wooden coaster. And then what have we got? Kiosk. Toilet. Not that we need the extra guess, but we're now eligible for best toilet awards. 7.2. Cool. Intensity just under five. Nausea is fine as well. So this was part six of my Tenacious Tenements playthrough. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.